What's up, YouTubers? This is Otis from Lesson Last Tactical, and we are going to do a multi-round video on what we believe to be the best knife in the market um, by one of the best knife manufacturers in the market. Um, this is actually what started us in making these videos right here. We were all on a job site, we were all comparing knives, and we started doing some research as to what we other people believe to be the best, best knife in the market. And during our research, we found people putting out videos and the knife price point in these videos were like three and four hundred dollars a piece. And they were had one after the other they were buying. And we have yet to find the value in those particular knives. We wanted to do a video and do a comparison in a knife with a price point of in and around 50 bucks uh, readily available. This is an everyday carry knife that is used aggressively in some points, in some cases and uh, preferably assisted open if we could get it and um, readily available Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon.com, eBay, whatever and do you know a, a video for a great knife at a great price. Um, this is the first round and we're going to go through these knives real quick and talk about them, explain them and then we'll go to round two from there and, and see what we come up with. Um, let's start with this Tac Force right here. We got this on Amazon.com for 10 bucks um not a big fan it's not the worst knife in the world um is it worth 10 bucks yeah would i carry this every day no it's just cheap i mean you know that's just not all that great here's the deal this is tack force amazon.com 10 bucks you see don't need to get into the seal and all that because it's not even going to make it to round two in our opinion not the best knife here's the deal that's ten dollars this is $18.80 right now on Amazon.com. I mean, you can already tell the difference in the quality of the knife. This is a Milwaukee Fastback. Um, it's China. The steel, not sure. Clearly, I've used it a lot. Um, I need to sharpen it, which I plan to do today or tomorrow, all my knives. And this one is um, absolutely worth it. I mean, for $18 in comparison to that other one, this is worth every single penny. This will be staying in my collection. Um, excellent knife. It's been, I mean, we strip copper with this. We do all kinds of stuff. And this is worth every single penny. Next, we have the 511 Alpha Scout made in Taiwan. Not necessarily, that was my fault for that. Um, not necessarily assisted open. High quality knife. Haven't field tested it too much. Um, I don't prefer, it's a little bit bigger than I like. Reversible clip. Um, all that good stuff, but um, I don't know. It just it's a very nice knife high quality. Do I recommend it? Yes It's just not my style um, It will be staying in my collection though. I'll absolutely keep this um, Then next after that We have the SOG flash 2 Definitely assisted open um, this particular knife has a reversible clip, all that good stuff. These right now are going for about $34 on Amazon.com, um, AUS 8 still. Um, but uh, just, it has a reversible clip, all that good stuff. Just not, once again, my favorite. Um, it just, it feels cheap to me. Um, I don't like it for an everyday carry. I mean, I'm going to be using this thing. I do like that a lot. Um, just, kind of cheap to me just not a not a big fan um, as far as what I consider to be great quality knives and what will be going to round two um, this Milwaukee right here as far as like say a contractor or whatever everyday carry this for twenty dollars absolutely worth it this worth it it is but it won't be going to round two so what's making it two round two is the Milwaukee fastback what is out 511 Scout, Alpha Scout, Tap Force, SOG, Flash 2. This one I'm giving away. This one I'm giving away. These two stay in my collection. This is going to round two. And we will be discussing more later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you.